Welcome to Jan's Chats and Reacts, Slow Mama's World, Slow Mama's World, which is a place that most of us wouldn't want to go because <laughs> it's like, let's just say, it's not very taxing on the brain um, and mainly because of um, Slow, Mama, Slow Mama himself. Okay, um, this video we're going to be look at looking at just how um educated he is on homosexuality, uh, gay communities, uh, anything really to do with um with being gay. So, yeah, I think you'll realise uh, what I'm getting at in a little while. So let's just play this more on and, uh, and see just what he's got to say <laughs> um, about homosexuals. Um, so we start with him reacting. Well, I can hardly call it a reaction, but um, reacting to somebody who he regularly insults. Um, somebody uh, who also does reactions, and she's called No Madness Life. So, buckle up, guys. I didn't even know who this guy was. And then No Madness said this, and I had to look the guy up. I guess he's a big YouTuber. Go ahead. Okay, I've gone too far forward, but she's mentioned that Dustin Daly <clears throat> has got eyes on Yo Mama, <laughs> and not for the reasons Yo Mama would want. Dustin Daly is actually in the drama community, which is the community that I came from before sort of being in whatever community I'm in at the moment, which is none. I'm I'm just like a free spirit flying around doing my own thing. But I do know of Dustin Daly. Dustin Daly uh, used to do a lot of, he's always done drama, but he was affiliated, if that's the right word, familiar with the um, the makeup community, you know, with Jeffree Star and Manny MUA and, uh, you know, Jacqueline Hill, all those people. Anyway, um, yeah, Mama wouldn't know anything about that, or he wouldn't know anything about that world. So it's not surprising that he hasn't heard about Dusting Daly. What is he mad about? I do know how you did it, but huh. do you think that was a smart move? What's a smart move? What's I was really disappointed. Oh, about what? Of course, there's a lot of things your mama does that's very disappointing. Oh. Huh. Uh, yes, <laughs> I totally agree there. Um, and the more he speaks, the more he is disappointing. What can I say? And there's a lot of people that have noticed that. Okay. <laughs> Talk to me. Yes, girl world has gay men. So if you don't like to be in an arena with gay men, why are you here?
look at the uh, performance, performative skills of this man, if you can call them that. <laughs> Sat there with his eyes wide open, darting around. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> it does? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I should have apologized for those of you that aren't familiar with this laughing hyena. His laugh is it it's akin to scratching your nails down a an old fashioned blackboard that they had in schools. That's the sound. But hey, we all have our faults, don't we? Wait a minute. Really? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I also have to apologize for his lack of vocabulary. Uh, you'll find that he generally speaks with a vocabulary, a vocabulary of 20 words, maybe, tops. He'll throw in the N-word in a minute, so I'm warning you. Okay, trigger warning, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess Dustin Daly, I guess he saw this clip. Let's play the clip. I guess he saw this clip right here. While he faffs around trying to find that, I've kept the, the, um, oh, hang on a minute. We need to stop that. Um, I've kept the chat open because his chat is quite interesting. Um, and they're in the know. They know that he is in the beauty world, Jeffy Star, James Charles, etc. Okay. Um, but of course, Slow Mama, um, I haven't got a clue about that. But anyway, we touched on that a second ago. Move on, Jan. Okay with it. That's why you don't like straight men in here. Straight gay oh, he's okay with it. That's why you don't like straight men in here. Because a straight man, a straight man, a real man, this nigga not a real man. A real man. That's it right there. So he's not a real man. Why is he not a real man? Why? Because he's gay. Does that mean he's not a real man? I've I've got gay friends. I've had in the past even more gay friends. And I can tell you they're more of a man than your mama will ever be. They don't sit on, you know, on on screen, uh, screaming into a camera, mocking women. They would never do that. But hey, let's not make it personal. Would see a fucking creep like this, filming a woman's ass, mm -hmm. and going, no, nah, nigga, that ain't cool. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, that's, Gay oh, he's okay with it. That's why you don't like straight men in here. Because oh, the context <laughs> again. Yeah, the context, which is something that you don't understand. Uh, so it's not even worth even trying to uh, explain it to this moron. Uh, but anyway, you carry on. And the taking the clips and the context. He don't like straight men in here. That's because four months ago, Alex is shook, said he doesn't like straight men in girl world. But forget all that. Um, He didn't actually say that. What he actually said was he side eyes them. And yeah, I can kind of understand that because most men in girl world, whether you like it or not, are gay. So, okay. So, how are you going to spin this? Let's see. Let's get to the part where I said that a real man would not like to see a woman being filmed without her permission publicly by a guy who sneaks up on her and films her ass without her knowing it. Right, so we're talking about Amberlynn Reed. Amberlynn Reed, whose whole existence on YouTube is to stuff her face. Just that's it, really. 
that's it. That's how she's made her money. Um, she's an, a morbidly obese woman, and she has basically just made her name by eating as much as she possibly can and uh, ignoring all the all the signs that being that morbidly obese is not good for you. Another thing that uh, Pleb face here is is forgetting is that. Amberlynn Reid has actually said to people, if you ever see me out and about, come up and say hi. Um, and, you know, we can have our pitch taken before uh, together. But, of course, your mum is not going to think even think about that. No, no. He's going to paint this narrative. Watch this clown at work. Okay. <laughs> Just watch it. Now, now I would think, that this is not a gay or straight conversation. This is just basically speaking about any man. Yeah. So who's made it a gay or straight conversation? You've made it a gay or straight conversation because you're talking about it now. You're picking on something that Alex is shook has said, and you're now going to try and turn it into a, a gay and straight thing. It's not that at all. But yeah, okay, you carry on. Let's just look over in the chat and just see. We've got some people coming in. What's happening? Um, I remember that because a man do better than her. Oh no, I think we're still on. I think we're still on No Madness Live. But then this is interesting. Uh Jarella. Uh, who I recognise actually has been in my chat. Let's not be transphobic here. Okay, well said. Uh, and then Tizzy Dawn says, you did go kind of hard at Alex. And then the one underneath, Bluebird says, crumbs. Okay, but we have to remember, he's, he's not very good at reading, guys, so he's not going to take any notice of that. All right. If you see a woman out there publicly and a guy creeps up, turns on his camera and points it at her ass without her knowledge or her knowing. And then instead of being very angry and upset at what that man just did, laugh about it like Alex Shook did. I don't. Uh, like most people did. I should imagine, um, because it was a situation where I think she had actually, I think if I'm if I remember rightly, I think he actually did approach her and speak to her. I could be wrong. Anyway, that's by the by. But he's Marta, Marta, Mama, um, saying how absolutely dreadful and absolutely dis. Disgusting it was. And this gay man laughed at it. Okay. That's where we've got so far, guys. I don't find anyone, any person, man, straight, gay, a real man for laughing at a woman being, being taped without her permission. Oh, is he trying to say that that's why he said that's not a real man? Oh, all right. Strangers just walking up to women, filming their asses, and you find that shit funny? I don't find it funny at all. Well, no, you might not find it funny, but you are a martyr to the cause, aren't you, yo mama? Hey, you do nothing wrong. Okay, you do. You think, yeah, that's just, it's just not funny. But it's funny when you're friends, when you're out with your friends and your friends think that one of the girls is 16 and you get all hyper diaper and start skipping around like a 13-year-old boy. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's funny. But no, this isn't funny. This is like, this is just awful. Absolutely dreadful. I find that utterly disgusting. And I would condemn it right off the rip. But that's not what Alex Shook did. That's why they want to make this a gay, straight conversation. No, no. As I said, it's you that wants to make it a gay, straight conversation. Okay, let's get that straight. It's you 
that is making it a gay straight conversation. But let's speak on that though. Let's speak to the facts because it's 2024. Mm -hmm. So this is what the guy, after seeing that clip, not getting no context, but we're going to get to the context. Okay. This is what Dustin, the YouTuber, said about the situation. Who even is this reject? <laughs> Haven't heard of him. That that chat looks really empty too. Okay. Hey, hey, chat. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too comfortable for him adding absolutely nothing to substance. Uh, no, what he actually said was he's way too confident for him adding absolutely nothing of substance in this argument. That's what he actually said. But hey, your mama can't read. In his argument, gay men exist just like that. Dusty bald headed of his we aren't going anywhere. We right, so I'll read that so everyone can understand it. He's way too confident for him adding anything, adding absolutely nothing of substance in his argument. Gay men exist. Just like that dusty, bald head of his. <laughs> we aren't going anywhere. That's how it read, even though I tripped over at the beginning. That's how, that's what Dustin <laughs> read. But of course, yeah, Mama is incapable of reading. So let's just hear how he read that. That that chat looks really empty too. Okay. Hey, hey, chat. <laughs> <laughs> He's way too comfortable for him adding absolutely nothing to substance in his argument. Gay men exist just like that. Dusty, bald-headed of his... We aren't going anywhere. We aren't going anywhere. Wait a yeah, he still <laughs> he still couldn't read it. But anyway, okay, off we go. <laughs> a minute. First of all, Dusty, uh, Dustin, what the fuck are you even talking about? You take a fucking two sec. You take a twenty second clip, no context, and you sat there and you did a whole rant about we exist, thinking that. This had something to do with Alex's shook being gay or not, or gay or straight. This was this was about Alex's behavior after finding out a woman was being filmed without by a stranger without her permission, without her knowledge, without. He and here he is trying to deflect it again from the fact that he actually called Alex's shook. No, that's not a real man. You're not a real man. So, yeah, we're, we're just sort of going off. Yeah, we're steering off there a bit. Yeah, we just steer off to that and say why he was angry, why he was playing the martyr. Oh, mama martyr. That's what he was playing. Okay. <laughs> Even her knowing. That's what the context was. But let's talk about gay or straight here because we're outraged, right? This is 2024. We're outraged. That your mama is somehow homophobic because the way he talked to Alex is shook. But I don't think that necessarily is that he's homophobic. It's just that he's incredibly stupid and he knows absolutely nothing about different areas in society, different communities. He's proved it so many times when he's spoken on quite serious issues like the um, Iran war that's going on at the moment and stated that <laughs> when uh, when somebody said something about, um, oh, food is stuck in, in Canada, um, he then went on to show that he knew absolutely nothing about the conflict and that, you know, she could fly wherever she wanted. Of course, she can go into Kuwait. Q8 isn't the same as Iran, you know. <laughs> anyway, I've gone off the subject, but yeah. Okay, carry on slow, Mama. Let's get to the context because we have the clip. Now, why did I say Alex is shook, doesn't like straight men in Grow World community? Let's go to where, how this whole thing even got started. Wait a minute. We got the video. Here is, I want to hear the outrage. I want to hear the outrage. Here is Alex is shook 
attacking me for being straight. Where's the outrage? It's 2024. Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Meg's. It really does. You know when Meg's used to stand there and say, oh, well, never mind about Black Lives Matter. What about the White Lives Matter? This seriously reminds me of that. Not my behavior, not my attitude or who I am. But Alex is shook. Attack me for being a straight man. Huh? That's not true. That's 100% not true. Alex is shook. Did not attack you. What he said was, God, I'm only going to repeat this one more time. What he said was that he side-eyed straight people or straight men, rather, in girl world. and. There's a reason for that. Okay, but yeah, okay. You keep twisting. Keep twisting by the pole, yeah, mama. Oh, let's play the video. All because Amberlynn says she likes your mama. And hear him. Here it is. Roll it. Not interested in men. I am a lesbian. I've said that countless times. The only man I would ever be interested in is your mama. Am I joking? Right. So there you go, girl. One man... That's it? So just yo mama? Or am I not joking? We'll never know. But if Is she joking or is she not joking? I saw yo mama was reacting to Amber Lynn. Is he interested in like, you know, the BBW type? I always have to question like straight men that are in this community. I have to look at with a side eye. He's not. What? Why don't you let him finish talking? So he's very good at doing that. He'll just cut off exactly where he wants it to be. So, okay, is this what Yo Mama is saying is attacking him? I don't see it as an attack on him. But, okay, you carry on. Keep spinning. What? A straight man? Not my behavior. Not my actions. But for me, just being a straight man. You got to be side-eyed. Now, imagine if I said something like this about a gay man in the football community. Oh, there would be outrage, wouldn't there be? But see, I never did. I talked about Alex's shook behavior, gay or straight. I kept the same energy. Matter, matter um, not exactly, because you said, um, <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> God, Re I tell you what, guys, reacting to this guy is painful. It's really painful. Um, right, let's get my thoughts in check. Right, didn't you just say that he's not a real man? Isn't no? Was that you? I think it was. But anyway, go on. You carry on. Matter of fact, the way that I talked about the straight man that filmed Amberlynn's ass is the reason why I got striked. Oh, right. Yeah. So we have to remember the only reason he said that is because he was martyring for Amberlynn because some guy took a picture of her in the laundrette. Okay. Even though Amberlynn has got her own big channel, and if she did have a problem with it, she would have done something about it. Okay. Right. Okay. Are you following along, guys? I hope you are because I'm I'm losing the will to live. But I just thought this was quite an interesting uh, insight into uh, <laughs> martyrdom. <laughs> but I was talking about the behavior. But here's Alex Shook attacking me just for being a straight man. Not from what my actions, not for my reactions. Another thing that he does is repeat, repeat, repeat. But there's something that I wanted to get on to. That's annoying because there is something I wanted to get onto. So sorry, you're just gonna have to suffer the repeats. Not my videos. No, I side eye any straight man being in this community. That's okay though, right, Daily? Uh yeah, I think it's I can't understand why anyone would see that as and you know a problematic statement. I mean, it doesn't mean that they have a problem with straight men. 
it just isn't. I mean, I'm sure if they did a survey, there'd be a huge percentage of gay men reacting in girl world. I mean, it's it's a fact. Get over it, little man. Huh? Where's the outrage? Where's the where's the movement at? Where the fuck is Busy B at, huh? She got so much to say. Where are you at with this? It's okay yes. to side iron. His, I don't know what that was about, guys. Sorry. Um, his chat. <laughs> right. Okay. Someone said, oh, Joella again. Can we not use orientation, sex, or gender as insults or judgment? That'd be nice. I agree. I agree. I, um, I react to several other people. One of the people I react to is a gay man. I don't have to go on and on about the fact that he's gay because his sexuality has nothing to do with my reaction. And this is where Slow Mama is treading a very fine line because he's trying to turn this into an attack on straight men by a gay man. I mean, really? And then there's somebody in the chat who says, if you're homophobic, then Alex is misogynistic. I mean, okay, all right, whatever. See, that's what I'm talking about, the hypocrisy. I never, I never, I, I wasn't going at him for, his, for, for, for what, him being gay or straight. I wasn't going at him for that. All oh, right. So, yeah, okay. You weren't going at him for being gay or straight. So saying he's not a man, uh, yeah, what were you insinuating there then? All right. I was going at him because the way that he reacted to a, a, a strange man filming Amberlynn's ass without her knowledge. Yeah, well, yeah. You keep believing that. You keep saying it, but we know it's not the truth. All right. We know it's not the truth. Cost. Because in, like, statistically, they are the most dangerous. Right. Hang on. I skipped over the bit that I wanted to, I wanted to go over. Listen to this, guys. It didn't matter if he was gay or straight. I would have said the same thing to anybody that would have reacted the way they, the reacted that, the way he did to Amber Lynn's ass being filmed and filmed. It but you thought it was all right when you're in your 20s, to film your friends talking to 16-year-old girls? That was all right, though. Okay. You need to keep your own nose clean, matey. It wouldn't have mattered what he was. But here he is attacking me for just being a straight man. Right, no madness life. That's right. That's okay, though, huh? It's 2024. So that's okay. Matter of fact, let's double down on it. Let's not. Oh, interesting. Somebody's come in and said, I read, I read about this yesterday. Apparently you said Alex wasn't a real man. Okay. Let's see if he answers that one. <laughs> we all know he won't. Not even just talk about him attacking me for being a straight man, but he also attacked kids for being straight. What is going on? <laughs> I want to see the fucking outrage. That's what I want to see, Chad. Here he is talking about kids being straight. Roll it. You side-eye straight men in general. <laughs> That's like when I see like a group of straight men, I'm going to try to avoid them at all costs. Because in like statistically, they are the most dangerous. Look at the shock horror on Slow Mama's face. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not gay, but I'm absolutely disgusted in the way he performs when Alex is talking about this. And another reason, um, to me, it proves just how ignorant Flo Mama is, that he doesn't know what it's like to live your life as a gay man. He doesn't understand that. He's got no empathy. 
he is completely ignorant. But anyway, let's carry on. <laughs> Daily! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can say shit like that, though, huh? Ah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, Alex, Alex has said that when he's out and about or in a supermarket or something, and he sees a group of uh, straight men, he can be intimidated. He can be scared. And he'll want to leave the, the store. I can relate to that. I can understand that. Because I still remember to this day a woman that I used to work with who had an adult gay son who was beaten on more than one occasion to within millimetres of his life, purely because he was walking down the street with another gay man. He was set upon and beaten and hospitalised for months, purely because he was gay. But watch this moron show his total ignorance to how some people fear other people in the real life the most dangerous wow wow <laughs> hello the most dangerous to gay men a group of, of straight men could very easily be intimidating. 100%. So he's now he's now decided that Alex is shook, has said that straight men are so dangerous. So you just have to be careful. Now look at this twat. Honestly. Ugh. Where's the where's the where's the clips at? Where's the community post at? Where's all the, where's all the, uh, uh, your mama's homophobe, where's all of that at? But I get the energy, but he don't. <laughs> it's crazy. And this is why a lot of people can't stand this little performer. They can't stand him. And you can see why. And you can see why they don't like his chat, which has fast become a hug box, and also a very nasty, vindictive hug box. One person here says, Alex can't get a man. He's bitter. Someone else says, Alex is on his way out, and I love that for him. All oh, right, so he's now saying that Alex's shook has spread around that straight men in the community are... What? What are you trying to say? Just insane. Let's get the context. I want to say that for the people in the back row. The reason why I said he don't like straight men in this community is because he said he don't like straight men in this. God damn it. When your mama come up with the receipts, man. What receipts? You're just making yourself look stupid. Don't you realize it? Okay, and someone else has put, Alex is effed up. Imagine someone making fun of his deformed foot that can't walk right. I mean, see what I mean about hate? Hateful people in his chat, and they're just the type of people he deserves. So somebody else has said in the chat, this is a weird take. I agree with Alex 100%. So he does get the odd the odd one with a brain wandering into chat. <laughs> right, now somebody here has put, and, and he's going to have to try and read this out, so this is going to be interesting. What this person's put is, why can't you criticise him without mocking his mannerisms? That's partly what people are saying is coming across as homophobic. Well done, that person. Well done. Right, let's hear him read this. This should be a laugh a minute. Come on, come and read it. Too many words in it, I think, guys. 
I don't, I, whatever their orientation is, is what they're orient. I don't care. I give the same energy to a straight man, to a gay man, to a straight woman, to a gay woman. I give everybody this. I, what do people say? I don't look at color when white women say that. I don't look at color. I'm trying. I don't look at race. I don't look at shit like that. I got to put on kid gloves because somebody is, is a different. Oh, you don't look at race, and yet you're you're running with the story that um, a black woman who's just come on into this space um, is trying to be Charlie Gold. Wonder why that is, and you mock her for wearing her her bonnet. So yeah, okay, but you don't see color though, no. All right, different sex than me. Or likes different. No, I'm a yo. I'm a go at your behavior. That's what I'm speaking about. But what Alex Shook said was based on my sex, right? But but my sexual preference. Waiting for Daily to uh respond. <laughs> oh no, Dustin Daily won't respond to you. It's obvious who you are. It oh, it's obvious what your caliber is. He won't bother. Who donated $5 yeah. through Super Chat. Why can't you criticize him without mocking his mannerisms? That's partly what PPL are saying is coming across as homophobic. Thank you for the $5. Thank you for the $5. I mock everybody's mannerisms. I just I guess he didn't like that, guys. Um, <laughs> and with that, I'm going to go. Okay, um, because I think I've covered it for too long and my brains are like scrambled eggs now. And yeah, I'm kind of done. So let's just get, let's do what I always love to do on my Jans Chats and Reacts. And that is to kick the loser off my screen. Like now. The only problem is I've got, I've still got this bigger picture there, haven't I, guys? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, that's that. That's this. Uh, yeah. How is it? How is somebody in 2024? He kept saying he's in 2024. How is he so uneducated? There's very little humor. When I watch him, there's very little humor. So I can't do my usual sort of jokey type of reactions that I can do to to other um, creators, in inverted commas. So anyway, check out my other stuff on YouTube and uh, you take care of yourselves out there because uh, it's a rotten old world. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.